We're here at Enville Golf Club for the Mojo Masters and the climax of our first challenge series of the year. On the line today for the players is a £10,000 first prize, as well as five challenge tour starts for 2021. Mojo is only four months old. We've put together a, a team where we support these young golfers trying to make it in the world and trying to compete and get up the ranks. And we support them with scheduling, with social media, handling their social media, with brand design, with getting them on, on, the, on the right events and so on. So we, we're trying to make sure that they're, they've got a good chance over the next few years of uh, really giving it a go and doing what they love. For the third week running on the Clutch Ray Tour, we have almost 150 players in the field, but on top of the pile after day one is the amateur, Aaron Edwards Hill, after an outrageous opening round of eight under par. You have to be very patient, to be honest. Um, there was a lot of taking your jacket off, putting it back on, waiting for the wind to die down, all that sort of stuff. So you're a great confidence builder for the start of the season, for the start of the amateur season. and to even play with some of the players here, like obviously you've got Aaron Rye playing, you've got a load of top pros playing, it's just great to mix it with them and just see where your game's at really. It was testing out there, um, drove it well off the tee, um, hit some really good approach shots as well and had a lot of opportunities, so um, that was that was key really after, after starting bogey bogey. It's, it's set up exactly the same as, as European tour events and, and again the greens are rolling really well, so we yeah, at have done a great job and it's, it's a pleasure playing here on the Clutch Tour. But ironically the conditions today were, were welcomed, it was good to actually um, to play some tournament golf and really be challenged today in, in those conditions, it was, it was tough. Despite an incredible effort from the green staff, unfortunately a suspension of play had to be brought about, adding to a sense of tension in the clubhouse before the leaders headed out for their final round. The Challenge Series has taken in three incredible venues. It all kicked off at the Belfry, of course, where Curtis Knipes took the victory. Then OJ Farrell took the spoils of the Oxfordshire. Now it's time to see who will follow in their footsteps this week at Enville. See, it was quite a challenge yesterday with the weather. I think it was the same kind of August last year when we played. No, looking, looking forward to today, looking forward to the chase. At our level, you know, I think challenge starts and, and opportunities are arguably more important than, you know, the cash. You know, like I say, we're early on in our careers. Uh, we're trying to get going. So, yeah, it's, it's great incentive. Um, as far as today goes, I don't think we're going to get the round in, obviously, with the delay. So I need to, obviously, get my foot down today. Third in the rankings right now, so uh, there's a few people ahead of me who I need to get ahead of and then uh, you know, hopefully uh, you know, overnight people will see that I'm right there and then come out tomorrow and take care of business. We truly have experienced all four seasons in one day here at Enville, but I'm pleased to say after a lengthy suspension of play on day two, play got back underway, the guys got back out here to try and finish their second rounds and for those who don't finish, they'll finish up in the morning. Playing well for a while, so and to get over the line so early on in sort of my pro career is fantastic. I was I was pretty nervous, but I was playing well, and I only really, I only needed to make par, so it was sort of just going at the middle of the green, and then hold a few sort of five to ten foot putts coming in, which was massive. Yeah, I knew that nobody in front could sort of catch. It was only the lads that were in the clubhouse, so I knew what the score was to knew what I had to do. And I've been doing a lot of good putting work recently with uh, Jamie Donaldson. So I just stuck to that and sort of trusted it. And I mean, it's only four and a half foot, whether it's for 10 grand or for nothing, it's, you can still, you should still be holding them. Been in contention a lot of times in amateur golf and maybe got ahead of myself a bit and thought about the next shot, whereas I just want to stay sort of in the moment and just hit the shot that needs to be hit there and then. 
Everything I've been getting from Trinavold is great. Going into pro golf, the amount of sort of support I've got from Jimmy and Bill helped massively with them too. So it's good to stick with the same team going forward.